Slow down. You're making me late for lunch. Slow down? What? So you can eat me? Well, that was the general idea. Mm-mm-mm, what a mess. Just look at your hot mark. All flabby, fleshy, out of shape. If you ever gonna catch me, you gotta get in shape. Cause I'm a fast one now. I've been working out. You know, I hate to admit it, but that puffed up little appetizer is right. To catch him, I need to get in shape. Before I start working out my muscles, I need some muscles to start working out. Aha! This will give me what I need, and fast. Gain power, gain strength. The Super Duper Juicer. Now, let's see here. To develop legs of steel, combine strawberries, apple seeds, and deep sea fish oil. <laughs> I'm not feeling a thing. Now, I gotta get new paint. And now, it never know what's hitting your door. Hey, 
Hey, you think you're the fastest thing in the jungle? Well, you're no match for my super duper thunder thighs. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, what's the big idea? I was soaking in my tub when bang, bang, boom, chugga, chugga, chugga. Take that out to the racetrack, man. Now back to my bag. Not this time, eh? <laughs> somebody to clean that up. This crud is for super duper juice of vision. So far, I don't see a thing. Whoa, suddenly I'm in the mood for a barbecue. Hey, hey, come up and see my new look. You've been eating way too many jalapenos. Your eyes are all red and swirly like. Oh, you just touched my porch! Now you're getting the picture, eh? <laughs> That's it. After all this time, it looks like, it looks like, you finally got me. Go ahead, fry me with your swirly eyes. <laughs> Stay out of the sun if I were you. Your head looks a little well done. To develop the nose muscles for super smell, I combined three drops of whole wheat toast and one wedge of Limburger cheese. Now, I gotta down the swill. Hey, hey, pack your bags and say goodbye because you're about to take a trip into my belly. Uh, are your allergies acting up? No time for small talk. There is no escape from my super smell. <laughs> you need a ride home? Because you look like you need a ride home. Physical strength, fooey. To catch that ant, I need a super duper brain. Because my not so super duper brain is beginning to hurt. Now I know all. Every dark mystery burns in the light of my all seeing eye. The infinite laws of time and space bend to my every whim. Come on out, Dan, and subject yourself to the awesome power of my massive brain. Does that hurt? Because I'm just saying, that looks like that would hurt. It does a little. But enough of this! You can never outsmart me, Yank. Now, do you have one last question before I enjoy a super-duper meal of you? Okay, okay. Here's one I've always pondered. <clears throat> Why can't you catch me? Whoa, uh, that's, uh, 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 that's, uh, I'm through with you, Super Duper Juicer. You're more like a Super Duper Bruiser. Hey, Ant! I thought your head blew up! I've had it with you and my juicer. I'll get you the good old-fashioned way. <laughs> I got it. I did it. It's a miracle. Hey, Big Blue! 
I want to thank you for turning me on to that super duper juicer. I've never felt better. Look at my arms. Look at them. Sheesh. Next time I'm hungry, I order pizza. Ha <laughs> ha! 
time so very long ago in an enchanted pinkdom not the one that you know there lived many lovable characters the greatest the best but little pink riding hood was loved much more than the rest he was good he was kind he was oh so sweet bringing treats to his granny who was nursing sore feet he skipped quite a lot uh, no one really knows why Little Pink Riding Hood was just that kind of guy. <laughs> then there's the piggy with house made of straw, whose efforts to thwart him made big bad wolfy guffaw. <laughs> because that clever old wolf was a gardener by trade, he fired up his leaf blower and piggy's house was pureed. <laughs> Though I don't think he planned it. He crashed the house made of sticks, leaving three frightened pigs in a house made of bricks. Well, the wolf wasn't done. No, he was hungry and mean, and he ran off to find an even bigger machine. A gigantic thing with a huge wrecking ball. He'd fricassee that house, a side of bacon for all. Uh-oh, was the thought I think that he had when the gigantic ball crashed down on his head. Little Pink Riding Hood was well on his way. Nothing could stop him from getting to Granny's this day. <laughs> but what? Wait a minute. What have we here? That wolf is up to something, something awful, I fear. Three beans for the basket, I'll trade you, he crowed. But Pink Riding Hood shook his head. No, no, no. Said bye bye to the wolf and skipped off down the road. But it's not over yet. You should know that by now. A strange man in shorts showed up with a cow. But stop! 
Wait a minute. Those beings are possessed. That stock is gigantic. I'm really impressed. Mm. But given some thought, and it's only a hunch, I'd rather clean up after a cow than be somebody's lunch. A quaint little cottage. A sleepy golden-haired child. I know you know this one, but bear with me a while. Three bowls filled with porridge, cold, medium, and hot. That hungry pink riding hood planned to devour the lot. We changed up the story, gave a twist to the plot. There's things going on that we kind of forgot. So pay close attention, the story gets thicker. The wolf's probably thinking, I should have left quicker! <laughs> but Pink Riding Hood just keeps skipping along, unaware that the wolf is still coming on strong. He high fives Humpty Dumpty and bids him farewell, then spends just a moment with Jack and Jill by the well. But down goes that egg, he lands with a crash! The king's horses and men want to know who will clean up this trash? What's next, you might ask, and you'd be right to say. Hasn't that crazy old wolf done enough damage today? So I'll fill you in because I've got this itch. That the one thing we're missing in this tale is a witch. Not just any old witch. Nope, she's one of a kind. And she's really very unhappy with what the wolf left behind. So she hops on her broom, makes a gingerbread man. And off he goes running just as fast as he can. Pink's very happy. He's finally here with his basket of goodies for his sweet granny dear. But there is so much thunder booing outside. What's going to happen next? Keep your eyes open wide. Because here's where the story gets really quite hairy. Granny isn't actually a granny. She's really a fairy. That wolf better watch it. She's good with that wand. With a flick of her stick, that wolf will be gone. So what lesson do we learn from this story, my friends? If you take care of your granny, you'll eat well in the end.